<coughs> right, this is for Mr. Burgos, for Michael Burgos, the Trinitarian. Uh, did Jesus cease to be the angel of Yahweh when he took on flesh at the Incarnation? Or is he now a tripartite God-angel-human, as opposed to a double-natured one, God-human? Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, the word angel, as we see it in our Old Testament, simply means messenger. It does not necessarily have to imply a sort of angelic subsistence like uh, with Michael or Gabriel or so forth. It simply means messenger. So to presuppose that uh, Jesus uh, or the angel of the Lord had to be a a created being, as in an angel, um, in that sense, is, is going beyond what the scriptures say. Um, did he cease being the messenger of the Lord? No, I would say no. He's the eternal relevator of God. That's exactly what I just spoke about in John 1.18 and the various places that we've seen that no one has seen the Father, but people have, in fact, seen God. So no tri tripartite or three-part person, but rather we see that Jesus subsists both the, in his divinity and his humanity as one person. Thank you. I know it's been many hours and we're getting tired, but you know, nobody's seen God at any time, I believe the text says. Look who's switching that to the Father? That's a little strange. If nobody's seen God, that means then that Jesus is God and he's there in the Old Testament. Nobody saw him either. So we need to look more carefully at that. Nobody's seen God at any time, at least face to face, so that he dies. But we need to work that text from what the text actually says. We also need to remember that Isaiah 44, 24, it is Yahweh who was alone. Not just God, not Elohim. Yahweh was alone. Yahweh is the one who sent Jesus. Jesus said, Yahweh sent me. God didn't send himself. The whole thing becomes a language nightmare. Believe me, if when you go to evangelical churches, you might once, to, uh, once at least ask, why don't you preach on all of this? If this is salvation big time, you've got to understand who Jesus is exactly. You must believe in the Trinity to be saved. Why not preach on this? Because believe me, the public hasn't considered any of these issues at all. And yet it's the most important thing for salvation, we're being told.